Welcome back to How To Have Authority. Now there's plenty of reasons why you want to change the MAC address or the identifier used on the internet to identify your device on your Mac or MacBook. So in this video we'll be going over all of the easiest ways to change your MAC address. But first off I think it's very important to see how we can even check your MAC address in the first place. So what you want to do is click on the little Apple icon in the top left and then click onto System Settings. Then click on Wi-Fi or Ethernet depending on which you actually use to connect to the internet. From there you want to click on the advanced button and your MAC address will be listed right there. So okay, now how do you actually change it? While we're starting off, let's go back to that Apple button, but this time hold down the options or alt button while it's doing it and you'll see that a brand new system information button will pop up. So you want to click on that. Then on the next page in the menu on the left, you want to click on network and then find your Wi-Fi adapter there. Once you do, you will see a column called a BSD device name. So just keep track of what that is for the network you're currently connected to. From there, you actually want to disconnect from the network. So either just disconnect from the Wi-Fi or disconnect the Ethernet cable, again, depending on how you actually connect to the internet. Then you want to open Launchpad and start searching up terminal. There you want to type in this command, sudo ifconfig, then the name of your network adapter, which we found earlier, EFA, and then a brand new valid MAC address. It can support numbers from 0 to 9 and letters from A to F. At that point, it may ask you for your password, so just enter it, and there you go, your MAC address will be changed. You can then use the steps we talked about earlier to double check if it has actually gone through. But what if I told you there's a much simpler way of doing that as well? If you have a special piece of software called Homebrew, which allows you to do a lot with your Mac device. You can get it by going to this website where you'll find a piece of code you need to copy. So just click on a handy copy to clipboard button and then go back to the terminal where you want to paste and run that command. At that point, Homebrew will install. It can take a while, so don't be scared if things aren't progressing. It can take quite a few minutes for everything to load in. But once it has, you want to enter this command. sudo spoof-mac randomize and then once again enter your network adapter's name. At that point it will provide you with a new randomized MAC address and once again you can do the step previously to double check if it has actually gone through. So while it is probably much easier, you also don't have that, you know, choice over what specific MAC address you want. If you want to pick out a MAC address yourself, you are going to have to do that yourself. Now again, while most people probably don't have to change your MAC address for any reason, if you do want to do it for whatever reason, then there it is. That is how you can check your MAC address on your MAC device, but also how to change it if needs be. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to How to Authority for more like this in the future.